personal technology is ushering in a new era of healthcare, fundamentally changing how and where medical decisions are made and treatment is rendered. Through a combination of wearable health monitor technologies, telemedicine, home diagnosis, and even pop-up retail settings, healthcare providers have begun to recognize the importance of treating patients remotely. In 2014, 2.3 billion US dollars was raised for digital health startups, and between 2011 and 2014, 1.9 billion US dollars in capital was raised for companies aiming to use predictive analytics. By 2018, 70% of healthcare organizations are expected to invest in medical mobile apps, with an estimated spend of 1.5 trillion US dollars on wearable health monitor technologies and mobile apps. This rising trend of remote healthcare, coined House Calls Plus, has allowed for a more timely administration of treatment for patients at their homes, significantly reducing the cost of intervention, as well as improving the quality of care. Pilot programs are showing excellent results, with one program in the US reducing admission rates to hospitals by 18% for its diabetic population who use remote monitoring and communication, and their readmission rates have also dropped by 31%, all of which reduced costs to the test center by 7%. An alternative to hospital-run healthcare programs is the drive towards patients using wearables and other personalized technologies to receive a variety of readings, which they can directly compare to a number of benchmarks and decide whether or not to proceed to a healthcare professional. Other patients may instead choose to consult health social networks to share information from their automated readings, consult a physician during Q&A sessions, or even seek emotional support. Patients may also use apps to detect a correlation between their condition and medication interactions or bad health practices to make decisions on how to improve their health. For more in-depth testing, patients could also decide to use home kits for personalized genomic services, blood and other biomarker testing, environmental testing, and even predictive biosimulation. Such a style of healthcare is being termed local convenience store. For those who choose to consult a healthcare expert, a number of options may arise that redirect the patients away from the hospital. Retail outlets in common city centers and clinics in remote locations can receive patients, review their information, and decide whether to continue with further care by a physician. On-call doctors are also readily available to answer questions and provide healthcare directives through video chat, email, or mobile phones to patients anywhere. Telemedicine has grown exponentially with 72% of hospitals and 52% of physician groups in the U.S. currently providing such services. And in Ontario, Canada, telemedicine programs have seen an annual growth of about 30% for the past few years. Among the risks associated with advancing personalized technology in healthcare is the belief that technology will take over the role of the doctor. In 2017, 142 million medical and health apps are expected to be downloaded and an estimated 65% of consumer healthcare transactions are to be made using mobile devices. Nevertheless, hospitals and healthcare professionals will still be at the forefront of all treatment plans, especially in unique cases. Therefore, the new dynamic of doctor-patient relationships requires new collaborations and business models, as well as a revised understanding of healthcare companies' role in the value chain.